Jake's life. Yay! Hello. 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 So as people come in, right? So I don't have to keep repeating the same thing. <laughs> that's oh, that's I'm true. Gonna um, so go ahead and show them the tank first. And then we'll go into the story. Is that the trap? Hello. What's up, guys? So, Hi. what's up, notification squad? Hashtag wish squad. Uh, Emily is helping us uh, film today, so she'll take you guys around. That's your show. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad she's here. Uh, in the past, I have to film and then talk, so it's kind of a little more difficult. I have to like split my attention. Hi, everyone. So this way, I can just talk to you guys directly, and I'll try to keep up with the comment as well. Starfish. Oh, it's Patrick. What's up, fellas? Happy Friday night. I'm so glad it's the weekend. And um, I'm so glad government did not get furloughed if you're in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Why don't you guys show, show him Patrick? I remember he's in the back. Yeah, we're trying to find it. Oh, right here, right here in the back. Do you guys realize something is missing swing, swing here? around. See in the back? Oh, it's here. It's here, right? Chicken naked. All right. I think we can start. Right, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so you guys may be wondering what is gone. Uh, if you look right here, and if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I actually sold the uh, Fiji yellow letter uh, yesterday, last night. A mm. really nice guy came over and picked it up. Um, back up a little bit, showed the entire tank. Quite and empty. Let me why. So before, the Fiji little letter by yesterday, when I pulled it out, it was actually... People ask, how size. many walk do you have in it's about, the It's about this size, and it's covering a lot of real estate, and then okay, it, just, just it, just, it just doesn't look right um, with the Manipur cap over here and the frog spawn right here. Um, it just doesn't quite fit in the scape. I think if my tank is a lot larger, then I can, then the Fiji yellow letter will look a lot nicer. But right now, just too many things competing, too many like major point of focus. Like Monty Cap is huge as a point of focus. Rosewood Put of an Enemy in the back is huge as focus. Frog Spine is huge as a focus. So I think the tank, the whole weight is on the right side. So when I throw the um, Fiji Yellow Leather on the left side, especially since it started getting larger, it just didn't fit quite in. And it was a little bit high too, so it just, they're just competing too much. So after seeing how much stuff I have on the sand bed that's waiting for room, I decided the best course of action is to um, just give up the Fiji yellow letter. Hopefully I'll pick up another one in the future. And then my goal is to plant the um, Euphelius onto this rock ridge. And by that, I mean the, um, this is the Aussie Gold Torch and right here we got the Indo Gold Torch. And <laughs> on the left side, we do have a frag of frog spawn that is supposed to go into reef jar, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more on that in a little bit. Um, so besides these two, if you swing around Emily, the Poritis rock, if I remember, if I pronounce it right, basically this is the Christmas tree worm rock. Uh, right now it's really being bothered by the goby because the goby always comes out. Whenever the goby comes out, all the worm hides. So I'm, I plan to move this rock to that ridge as well. Hmm. Oh, here. Oh. <clears throat> cute. Yeah, they're cute. So if you swing back out here, so basically what is gone is the Fiji yellow leather and I think this will really shake things up in terms of the aquascape for this tank uh, before just too much things going on everything's competing with each other and hopefully once I clear out the sand bed like these things will no longer be on the sand one two three four five that right there um, so those will all go on here and hopefully I will be able to move some of the these eight cans onto the rock as well um, so, how many stone do you have in the 45 gallons tank? How much rock do you have in the 45? Okay, um, great question. Because I'm using Pukani rocks from BRS, and Pukani rocks tend to be a lot more porous and a lot lighter. So if I have to guess, I say maybe 25 pounds. Now before the general rule is um, one pound of rocks per gallon of water, mm -hmm. but that no longer applies when it comes to Pukani rock because it's so light. Uh, and I actually kind of messed up here because when I ordered the Bukani rocks the first time, I did that one pound per gallon, and I ended up with like a huge excess of rock. In fact, when you come over here, let's show let's show them like the rest of the rock. Right? Oh, someone suggests that once you remove the SPS to that stone, you will have more room on the sand bed. 
Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'll be moving SPS on there. Yeah. Um, that's a, definitely part of the plan as well. As to where I put the Euphelias versus where's SPS, I really need to put the Christmas tree rock on there first, and then we'll see how it plays out. Because sometimes the rock, like, I know if I drill the rock and use acrylic rods, then I can kind of position things a little better, but I'm still kind of nervous about drilling. So right now, I'm just kind of putting rock on top of each other and see what fits best. Okay. And so speaking of rock, People ask about uh, your hair as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> so these are all the remaining rocks that I have that I get to work with. And by building the, uh, by kind of like putting, getting rocks for the reef jaw, I find out how easy it is to break these rocks apart. These are the Pacani rocks. So um, I may play a little bit more with these. If I find out that that rock ridge alone is not enough, I'm going to break up some of these rocks. All right, let's head back there. Oh, people seem to really like, Care about your hair. <laughs> okay, so show me and the Monty cat at the same time. <clears throat> so back there's a there. saying. There's a saying. Um, as pet owners, right? The your pet tend to look like the owner. <laughs> like your dog <laughs> will end up like the owner when you guys spend a lot of time together. So it's exactly the case here. As you know, like the Monty Cora caps has been having a lot of bald spots. For whatever reason, and I think, I think I think part I think, quite a I, think <laughs> I think part of the reason is because I have a spot, so my pets, the Monty Pori cat, decided so that it needs it needs some spots too. <laughs> no people want to know. <laughs> oh, no, it's actually I'm being stressed out by Emily. That's why I got all these spots right here. What? <laughs> no, it's, I'm stressed out because I got to pump out video once a week, man. I'm like pulling my hair out, and this is what I always do when I'm like stressed. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap, crap, Premiere, why are you crashing? I need more footage. I start plugging myself. Maybe no, you should actually... just shave it off. Just shave but... it off. Yeah, like, uh, who wants to see a new look? Yo, okay, okay, let me right, right. Right. This totally went off a tangent, so let me just address this. Uh, so basically, last week, uh, for the past two months, I noticed that this spot has been developing, right? It's, uh, it's, it's basically from stress. When people stress out, sometimes they lose yeah, hair. Just, it. Uh, so I've been trying to grow my hair out to cover the spot. It's slowly growing back up, but it's not fast enough. So it came to a point where my hair actually covered the spot. It's gone. It was gone for a week, and I went to the barber. I told him, hey, I want to cut my hair, but I want to make sure it is long enough to cover the spot until it grows back. He's like, okay, no problem. Next thing I know, <laughs> it's back. So it's all right. Anyways, it's slowly growing back. All right. So yeah. Is that... Oh, and people ask about the fast project too. Oh, Our what? jar. The job. We will talk about it later. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. Um. I'm. Do you want to talk? About yeah. It? Let's let's talk about jar next. Uh, sorry. Nick, I'll talk about Dropbox first, and then we'll get to jar because mm -hmm. the jar one I kind of want to go a little bit more in depth with. Mm -hmm. so let's talk about Dropbox real quick. So this is kind of like a five cents tour of all the tanks <laughs> uh, because I I realized that I'm really lagging behind on all the tank updates. There's like just so much content. I have more content. Uh, okay. I got this week's video is already cut. I have to put in three stories together in one video because there's so much content to catch up on. And next week, uh, we gotta talk about Absolutely Fish. And then there's a couple other things. I talk, I wanna talk about um, how I actually scrape off and treated some of the Green Star Palo. But that's also a reason why I wanna do these live streams to kinda catch you guys up to how the tank looks right now. <laughs> so, drop off tank. I'm continuing to having to have issue with the solars. You notice that a lot of these always is Okay, now like, people are <laughs> talking about the Christmas tree. <laughs> Damn it, guys! <laughs> Follow the script! What are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, this first, and then we'll talk about the Christmas okay. tree. All right, so drop off tank. The main issue is that a lot of these always is not completely open. I have experienced something similar like this in the 45 gallon tank, and to be honest, it was never completely soft. Um, but eventually, they just started opening again. Uh, after I'll say about three or four months. It has been about a month and a half, two months since it's always been like this. They are turning around a little bit. I noticed that every single time I do a water change, they seem to open up a little bit larger. So I think I'll just keep up with the maintenance and ho hope for the best. I do also notice that there seems to be some algae growing between the zoas. And the reason I say that is because I see a lot of micro bubbles coming up. Usually when there's like micro algae, if you look at the back wall, there's like a really fine bubble. And I'll, I'll show you one more thing. Let's say, watch me 
blast the blast some water to the zoids. You see a lot of little bubbles come up. You see how there's a lot of bubble being released? That tells yeah. me that um, there may be a lot of little micro algaes living between the um, so Apollos. So I'm guessing, oh no, I've not tested it yet. So I'm guessing uh, maybe the phosphate is pretty high in this tank. Um, I have been running GFO and carbon, well carbon doesn't take phosphate, but I've been running GFO and stuff like that in there. So hopefully that'll help as well. And I'll keep up with uh, water change. And actually I got a secret weapon. Okay. They asked, do, do you test your firstly mixed sorts? So do you I, actually I do not, test it? I do not, and that's actually a great suggestion. That's totally do Thank it. you. <laughs> I didn't really think about yeah, I didn't really think about testing the freshly mixed salt water, but I think that's actually a, a good suggestion. I know the the water itself is good because the LDI unit come with a TDS meter mm -hmm. on the out, so water's good. But I did not test the salt, so good suggestions. Um, so this is my secret weapon, Kemi Pure Blue. I know this is good stuff because uh, when I know like uh, when my nephew, they use uh, the jellyfish tank, I think this is what comes with the, the, the setup. So I'm sure they've done their research, they know this good stuff. So I plan to use this in, as the in-tank media for the dropout tank. Mm -hmm. Some chemi uh, blue, can't speak. All right. Friday night. <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> now, one really interesting thing about this tank is that the uh, oh, alkalinity. She is sleeping. The alkalinity is actually really low here. Oh, let's see, sometimes he waved that little thing when I get near the tank. I think he's sleeping. Yeah. Um, so the alkalinity is actually really low. I think um, on my Instagram I posted, I think it was 6.1 last week. Mm -hmm. So this week, every two or three days, I add a little bit of um, soda ash in it, hoping to boost it slowly, um, not overdoing it. But the cool thing is that even though the alkalinity is really low, mm -hmm. look at this coal right here. So this is the Monty Pora cap, the exact same one as the 45 gallon tank. It is doing really well, it's encrusting well, the color is really deep, it's looking good. So even though the calculability is low, but it's doing well. So really interesting, okay. eh? And since we're here, why don't you show them around? Oh, by the way, I've been having bubble algae issue in 45 gallon tank, but it seems to be migrating to the drop off tank. Just see those little pearls. So it does a bubble. Oh, wait, yeah. Thing. And since we're here, let me just feed Mochi. Aww. Hmm, that's really cool. I haven't seen this bubble before. Oh yeah, guys, like, like our life here. <laughs> here we go. So this is what I do every two days. The shrimp's a pretty good size. Um, I can't believe I'm filming this. There you go. Oh no. Mochi sees him. See, he's moving. Oh, it feels it. Like 200 lights and the jacket comes off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's okay. Oh, look at, look at lure. Mochi's fishing. Mochi's fishing. This is cool. So Mochi has been using his lure a lot more now. This is the coolest thing. Come on, guys. I like the Christmas tree. Why? Why it has to be cut down? Could you get closer for them? Or is it out of focus? There you go. Look at him fishing. Go, Mochi. So for whatever reason, Mochi has been using his lure a lot more. I think he finally learned that the lure actually works. Move, Mochi. Go, Mochi, go. Hey, Ricky, is a good night to read. What's up, CJ? Bye. So as we're as we watching, oh, there he goes. He's Going going for approaching. it. Oh, the shrimp is not buying it. The shrimp just like pees out. So I'm I out don't of here. Care. Oh, Bray, good. okay. Did you did you click clam? Didn't get it from divers dances. Oh man, I have not checked. Thanks for reminding. I think um, I may get it, dude. Because uh, at, at my LFS, one that size I think is about two fifty. So when it, when I see it's one fifty plus free shipping, plus they have a fourteen days guarantee. I think it's uh, it's dude, it's mighty tempting. It's a frog fish. 
All right, I think the shrimp kind of tucked away in the kelp forest or the yeah. macroalgae forest, so I think it's gonna be a Great long drawn thing. out thing. So we'll 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 check back later. <laughs> we'll check back later. Guess what, guys? Yeah, those are just go stream. Check yeah, this out. Um, we only have 52 lights. <laughs> What's a hundred lights? Tick off something. Two, two, two <laughs> lights, come back on. Shave, oh, shave off your hair. Shave off your hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's, uh, let's, I want to talk a little bit about these guys, Fathead Dendro. <clears throat> so, Fathead Dendro, I've been feeding them religiously, uh, twice or three times a week. So that is the second colony. If you swing over here, we got a tiny little one. So if you've been following the channel, you know that I frag up the uh, larger colony. I lost pretty much all of them except for these two and a half heads. And they've been doing really well. Initially, it was kind of sketchy, right? They kind of like half the polyp is open, half is not. Uh, but now they have pretty much fully recovered and they are looking great. Are they? Yeah, but the zoas, the zoas, they are kind of like half, half open. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, my guess is phosphates. I need to do some I do have a test kit, but I've just been so busy um, that I've just been like uh, dragging. But today I have a, tomorrow I have a pretty free day. So I think I'll be doing a full water mock-up for both tanks. Uh, the other tank, for the most part, is pretty stable. Everything's pretty good. This one is in a lot of flux. Um, so I'm kind of surprised some of the coral is doing so well, especially the kryptonite candy cane. It just looks gorgeous. It's just super happy. It looks really, uh, really bloated. And of course, a Monty Cap is quickly becoming one of my favorite corals here in this tank. And you'll notice they actually have a lot more uh, green stop polyps now down here. Yeah. This has started to spread. This has really started to spread. Those two seems to have combined. And right there in the back wall, they finally seem to settle in and start opening up. So I'm really happy with how the GSP is spreading. What test kit do you use? Okay, the little request asks, what test kit do I use here? Let's show the test kit real quick. I mean, it's not the sexiest thing to show on a live stream, but I think it's important as well. Kind of ironic coming from the inappropriate reaper. <laughs> so if you look right here, so these are all my test kits. My favorite out of the bunch has to be the uh, Hannah Alkalinity testing. It's just so easy to use. And then of course, um, for the one, the regular ones I need to use bottle, usually I go with uh, Salifert. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem to have really good reputation. Not the easiest to use. Uh, I know some of you guys are used to doing it. Uh, but for me, sometimes I just feel it's such a hassle that I, I just procrastinate. I just <laughs> get lazy, I'm pretty bad. But really thanks to how easy it is to use this one, I, I find myself testing a um once a week or sometimes like twice a week if I have some issues. So those are the test kits I've used. Now, since we're over here, let's talk about the jar real quick. Um, I'm actually gonna make a... Wait, we have some questions here. Okay, all right, then let's point at a tank, we'll answer the question. Look, Mochi's swimming. Yay. So we can point at him oh. as we catch up on the questions. What do you feed your fed Andrew, Sean? Uh, so fed Andrew, I have been feeding them frozen LLS, refrenzy. Basically, just like a seafood mix that they mash up and they oh, freeze. Oh no. To us. Hey, Wait, why is he blasting off the wall? Uh, Bray, what happened it's to the happy. mini carpet anemone? So mini carpet anemone is still there. Uh, I had to chip it off the <laughs> rock from the toadstool, but it is alive and well on the sand bed right now. I'm trying to find a good spot for it. Yeah, don't learn Tom Cruise style. I'm just waiting for him to hold on to the cliff. <laughs> you know, one interesting thing about Mochi is that he has been staying down here almost exclusively. I have not seen him up there for quite a while, which is kind of odd. Uh, Jack asks, are you going to try to keep another abalone? Great question, Jack. Actually, um, tomorrow, sorry, not tomorrow, Sunday's video, one of the story is actually about the abalone for those of, uh, those of you guys who are not following me on Instagram. Um, I will, I will try to, I'll try a tropical one. Um, so the one I got was actually uh, just tempered water, just like regular water. The water, the tank hey, it came hi, from Mochi. was about 70, 71 uh, degree. So as you have ex <laughs> as you may have guessed, it did not do too well in the reef tank. But I'll try another tropical one for sure. They're really cool looking. He's and partying. I don't know why Mochi is swimming like that. He's partying. It's Friday night. Yay! Yes, yeah, it's, it's, that's really strange. Okay, let's... Uh, you should check for spiders or pests on the zoas. 
Dude, you're absolutely right. I've been keeping an eye out, especially since um, in my 45 gallon tank, I had a similar issue. So I tried dipping corals and check for, um, check for different pests. No issue so far. And I'm not sure if having pests would affect the entire tank solace. Uh, I would think like maybe one or two colonies. So I'm not sure when it comes to the entire tank. So, so to me, I feel like it may more be like a water quality issue, but I'll definitely keep an eye out as well. And I do have like a uh, Farron 2 and stuff to treat. Uh... Hey, here's a ghost shrimp. Really? It just swam up. The damsel just chased it out. Mustang Crazy. chased it out. Wait, do you realize that Moshe has more dark spot on his body? Yeah, it's turning yellow. No, it's dark. Like, a bit great. Oh, that's right. Oh, it used to be white, right? Yeah. There's something wrong. All right, change the title. There's different characters. Moshe's dying. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I think just like a natural coloration. Like Are you sure? Just morphing. I hope so, at least. You should go with it. <laughs> but that looks like a pattern color change. So it's not like a weird distressed color. It's supposed to be great. It, it looks, looks like, like all the spots are turning. He's so it's turning color. The guys, I didn't poison him. <laughs> so, you know, Emily really hated Mochi in the beginning when she first came here. And I like it recently. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's she, why. She was so opposed to him because um, I feed him like ghost, uh, sorry, live fish. And because he's too lazy. Too lazy, yeah. She claims that he does nothing. He just kind of sit there and food yes. just comes to his mouth. When does he, he darken when he's sleeping? No, I think like the color, color wise, he's pretty much the same. Um, well, in terms of like between day and night. But recently, his color just started morphing. You notice some neon yellow spots on the body. But, and as Emily just pointed out, the spot, this, all the spot became yeah, like dark gray. I didn't even notice it before. That is really interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Zoas for pests, I'll definitely keep an eye out on pests as well. Uh, my first instinct is that these are probably water quality issue, most likely phosphate. Um, but I'll definitely keep an eye out on pests because that's a pretty real uh, possibility as well. Um, it's a shame because like in my 45 gallon tank, I went through almost the exact same thing. Almost all these Zoas, they, they're not happy. They not they open up a little bit, maybe like 40%, but they're not 100% open just like right now. Um, but eventually they, get, they got over it. But I really want to figure out this time what exactly happened and why is it like this. So I'll keep you guys posted for sure. All right, let's People talk about- People ask, does he change the color based on his mood? Maybe, maybe it's Friday. Um, I honestly have not noticed a change in color uh, on a day to like just like within the you know how some fish when they stress out maybe they get really pale and stuff like that I have not noticed that with mochi uh, so all the color change right now you're seeing like turning yellow and stuff like that it's gradual and that's why like when Emily pointed out the spots are gray I did not even notice because I see them every single day and the change is so gradual that I didn't notice Really interesting. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, for for those who just miss out, yeah, we removed that. What was that called again? Uh, Fiji yellow letter. Yeah. Do you remember the reason why we did that? Do you want to give a little spiral? Go. No, no. Oh, she's oh shy God. all of a sudden. <laughs> she's shy right. all of a sudden. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so really, really quick recap, like ten seconds. Basically, the Fiji yellow letter is getting a little bit too large. And the proportion just doesn't look right when there's like mud cap here, frog spawn there, and uh, rose above the anatomy. It's just too many things competing. So I want the major attention to be here. All the big pieces here, little tiny pieces here, and some medium size here. So I plan to move all these things on the sand bed. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Indo Go Torch, Aussie Go Torch, frog spawn. I plan to plant these along the ridge on the rock. And also I plan to move the Christmas tree warm rock onto the ridge as well to fill this spot out. So that's basically what's gone, the huge Fiji yellow letter. It was about this, this size when poured out of the tank. It's a beautiful piece, it's beautiful, true. beautiful piece. But the good thing is that I do have another piece of Fiji yellow letter in the back. Oh. Uh, not from the same colony, but I believe it is also a Fiji yellow letter since it's yellow. Uh, it's a much smaller piece and it's a really slow grower. So I'll be moving that out to the front now that uh, the large piece is gone. You know what? I actually did not visit the frac, frac, uh, frac rack in a long time. Oh, someone said it depends on what mochi. Okay, Fa F Fabian, I hope I pronounced your name right. Because I know some fish change color depending on what they eat. Um, I need to look into that. That's really interesting, actually. I know like some fish, like wrasse and stuff like that, according to Richard F. Schnado, really, really great guy, really knowledgeable. 
he mentioned that based on some of the stuff that they eat, uh, certain food, maybe they become more vibrant. In terms of actual morphing color, personally, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll experiment. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll report back on whatever I know. So I guess maybe it's hunting the ghost The ghost just escaped him. I don't know. That's why it's swimming all over the place. All right, let's talk about the jar. Because I think this long stream, I this live stream is pretty long. I'm trying to we'll wrap it up soon. Do you want to turn on the lights? Uh, Alexa, turn on all lights. Call Emily okay. next time. <laughs> Sponsor. Oh, wait, we gotta talk about a Christmas tree first, right? Oh yeah. See, I don't leave you guys hanging. I remember. You think you forget? So what's uh what's the question about a Christmas tree? <laughs> so what about this? What question. about this? What happened to this? <laughs> Alright, quick question. How many of you guys still have your Christmas tree up? No one. No one. Don't be shy. If you have it up, let us know. All right. So, so since Emily is asking about this, this happened maybe like. Oh, someone did. Yeah. High five. Yay. <laughs> so this. Someone wished. This he I did. made maybe like five years ago. Basically, this uh, Miley Cyrus. That year, they came out with the song "Wrecking Ball," and online, there's a funny joke, right? Some somebody made a template where you can just. Cut this thing out, cut this little, little, little picture out of uh, Miley Cyrus and then you kind of just like tape her on top of a uh, <laughs> wrecking ball. Okay, you look like a creepy so, guy. <laughs> so basically every year, every year, I want to pick a uh, ornament that kind of representative of this year. Uh, of example, one people, girlfriend. <laughs> so, so for example, come over here, let me show you. Something. And this is mine. Yay! So, so, we look, want look, look, this. Look at this one, look at this one. So one year, um, I spent Christmas in Exuma with actually Miss Average Reefer and some friends. And so this is kind of representative of that year. Basically, it was like a flamingo <laughs> of that summer. Is pretty creepy. What? <laughs> well, how is this creepy, yeah. guys? And uh, let's see. Okay, this year we got this guy right here because I feel like we really started I doing a this lot one. of uh, yeah. She picked this one. We really started That's doing cute. a lot of like uh, reef related videos. So I feel like ocean, ocean. And Emily likes uh, Bruce the Shark. I, I tried to use it to scare Mochi once. <laughs> yeah, Mochi is like, can I eat him? But for this year, I actually picked this one. Come closer. Hakuna Matata. Yeah. yeah, so the reason I picked this one is because uh, this year I met Emily. And we're kind of like sidekicks, right? But I'll let you, I'll let you guess who is who. <laughs> 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 who is who? All right, all right, let's talk about a reef jar. Let's do this. So mean. All right, I didn't say anything. Okay, this jar, this, this jar freaking breaks my heart. Oh man, how do I start? I'm gonna do a longer video of this, but basically I'll tell you what the issue is. Um, jar looks fantastic. It looks beautiful when there's no water in it. Everything looks perfect. But if you look at it now, you probably notice an issue. Why, uh, the, why is the rock so big? So before, the rock is like this small, right? It looks beautiful, Poor is beautiful. But as soon as I added water, the water distorted everything. So it looks so full. It looks like, uh, it just, man, just doesn't sit well with me. The problem is like the curvature of the, of the jar is different too, depending on how you look at it. So it just, dude. <laughs> Uh, I was talking to Emily, I, I'm really, really <laughs> tempted to tear it down. No. And just use a reg either like a um, cylinder shaped jar or just use a more standard uh, cube or some kind of tall, simple tank. Uh, because I'm Yeah, this guy has two wives and two girlfriends. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so every time I look at this jar, I was like, oh, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. Like if I don't love it, on when I first set it up, I'm not sure if I should invest more time and energy into it before versus like just setting it up again with something uh, something that I actually feel passionate about. So I don't know, I'm still kind of struggling with it a little bit. Uh, probably because I seen this without water, I know what it looked like then. And when I added water, everything got distorted, it just doesn't sit well with me. But that aside, the pump has been working really well. You see we hide all the wire really well, the UFO light fits in really well. And surprisingly, the temperature is really, really consistent. Uh, I got one of those preset heaters, preset to 78, and the temperature has been between 78.5 to 79.5, one degree um, variance, not bad. With the mod, air tube mod right here, the lip, no water has escaped. There's no salt creep coming out, so mm -hmm. it is perfect. Setup is good. 
only issue is the um, only issue I have is the distortion, and it is it is a big issue for me. And as a test, I toss in some corals in here. Okay, people are so curious about your wife and girlfriends. Oh my god, so come on, guys. this is his first wife. Oh no, that one is his first wife. No, wife, wife is uh, um, dude, this one is the second this wife. Is <laughs> no. And this is his <laughs> new girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, mistress number one, mistress number two, mistress number three, mistress number four. Four is there over yeah, there. Yeah, let's talk about four. In the Come kitchen. On. Oh, actually, there's a five. There's a five. No, turn to this is four. Okay, this so, guy. This is. <laughs> this is so this is not too much about this. Basically, this is a feeder tank, freshwater feeder tank for mochi. Uh, basically, I stack, I stack all the oceans in here. We got three female guppies that's kind of left over from before, and they just been chilling. I mean, I've really enjoyed them. But as you can see, it's really, yeah, it's really, that. really dirty. I have not scraped this off, but it doesn't bother them that much. I seem like, I feel like they like grazing on it too. Uh, but you're right. This weekend, I need to do a lot of maintenance on all the tanks. Yeah. And right here, I have all these uh, glass lily pipes. Initially, I got these two. These are, these are actually for that tank right here. This mistress number five. But these are a little bit too large. So I went ahead and ordered a nano one. These I got from eBay. Quality is good. Price is decent. I think it's like $12 a piece. But uh, they're simply too large. I did not expect them to be this big. So I went on Amazon. The reason I got I went on Amazon is because those took freaking two months to get here from Hong Kong. These came in two days. Uh, so these are nano size. So this will fit so much better. Mm. And this tank, before it was sitting where the microwave is, and we realized that it's a really odd space for a tank. So this has to be and we it again. moved it here. This, this is a lot nicer. And this actually just came today. Ooh. This is actually a uh, high door, great company. I have not opened it yet, actually. This is a, holy crap, why is this so and big? Boss. I was not expecting this what? to be this big. <laughs> this is a freaking heater. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is a uh, inline heater. <laughs> A giant inline heater. Uh, good thing is that we can hide everything behind the trash can. So we got we have so the tennis equipment really back here. We got this, and then we got the CO two. I bought the uh, paintball CO two. Um, I think I got the Tipman version. Yeah, Tipman. Uh, I used to play paintball. So that is coming. So hopefully we should have everything up and running. Hopefully this week or next weekend. And obviously we got some CO two pipe. And right here we actually got some frosted window screen for, mm -hmm. to use as background. So a lot of planted tank actually like using those um, frosted semi-transparent background in the back. They don't use blue, they don't use black. They like to use that look. So it looks more airy. So this I may like be it. something, yeah, this may be something that I experiment with reef tank as well. I actually have not opened this as well. What's this? Yeah, oh, just, the background. Yeah, just like frosted Do we actually background. need this? Yeah, cause like, right, look, you, you see all this crap in the back. I think it's quite cool. So we'll do the frosted thing in back and then maybe we'll lay down an LED strip underneath it so there's a little backlit. It'll look kind of cool. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's wrap up. What I want to do is that I have a fish trap there. We actually did not talk about it at all and I guess nobody asked. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a fish trap in Fort Jack Allen. Let me put some food in there and see if we can actually catch one of the fish. Well, actually we keep that up because we also have a Christmas tree in the tank. What? The Christmas tree ones, oh, <laughs> they match true. each other. Okay. Um, so the reason there's a fish trap in here is because if you look right here, we got the green chromis. That one single fish that I'm trying to catch right here. It has gotten really, really smart. Okay, let's do it now. And also the bicolor blenny that supposedly has been scraping the Montipora cap, that's why there's a bolt spot, and maybe the bicolor bunny has been coming out of the tank and scraped my head, that's why I have a bolt spot. So we're gonna get that guy. Uh, and so there's two fish I'm trying to trap, and you see the bicolor right there. Look, 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 it's peeking out, it's peeking out. <gasps> Where? Can't see. Yo, EDK, EDK, thank you for a super chat. Sorry if I miss any of them, because I'm not looking at a comment. So if you see something like this, you gotta just shout okay. out. Oh, that's a fat, like, that's a new function. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so... Know. What are you doing? So, okay. You're feeding them? Yeah, so right now I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna drop them into the uh, fish trap. 
hopefully one of them, either the green chromis or the bad color building will go in and we'll trap. All right, so stand right there. Flow is coming this way, hopefully pushing into a fish trap. And we fed them in here once before, so hopefully they know what's going on. Oh, so is there a super chat? So as soon as any fish goes Should in, aim? the clownfish is already in there. Yeah, they're yeah. both of they this don't tank. Care. But we are trying to catch green chromis and bicolor blending. Come on, go in. It's Mark. Yeah, so I'm actually really surprised the green chromis has not gone in yet. Usually it is really gung-ho about food. Uh, the clowns probably went in 50 times already. It just kind of chills in there. So again, I'm trying to catch a green chromis um, because the clowns have been picking up them really aggressively. I think the clowns are probably trying to spawn, trying to clear out the space, and the green chromis is just getting too large. So I've had the green chromis for about half a year, and the smallest one is as large as the largest one back then. So they are starting to add it, um, Detectable bio load. What's hairline? What's that? Zero. Okay, yeah, the male clown just kind of chill in there. Hmm. Yeah, maybe hmm. a long battle. <laughs> so last time, I tried to. Okay, I caught quite a few fish with this trap. Um, I, the one fish I failed at is Royal Grama. I've been trying to catch a Royal Grama. Look, the clown is inside. They don't, he doesn't even care. So I caught a, I was trying to catch a Royal Grama and I ended up just taking the tank apart. So I tried fish trap, I tried fishing. I actually used a really small size hook, uh, cut away the barb and just tried fishing for Royal Grama. I did not take as well. I ended up tearing the entire tank down just to catch a fish. So I really hope I don't have to do that with the bicolor blending. Um, yeah, I, I guess I got to just keep up a feeding in the fish trap until one of them go in. Damn. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's gonna happen tonight. Hiking. All right. Well, you guys are watching. Let me. Or... Yeah, I try. I want to catch that one too, because as soon as I catch that okay, one, let me try to. I can. I can. Um. This one. Do you need the other, as well? Because as soon as I catch the remaining green chromis. I can give the whole set off. So I already have somebody local who will take them off. He's here. patient and gently to catch your fish. Okay, so this way we can see the fish trap and watch Emily make a fool out of herself. <laughs> Come on, fishy. Okay, in the meantime, I can answer some questions. So this is perfect. Uh, let's see. Mike asks, what dosing pump are you using? I'm using the, uh, is that J-Bow? Whatever this one is. So this is the, I think, I think it's, it's j -Bow? I'm trying to remember. I think it's j -Bow. I think it's like $65 or something cheap on Amazon. Uh, is su it? Super, super reliable, <laughs> super reliable. Yeah, compared to like two, 200, 250, that does something similar. Okay, it's free. Expensive to keep a tank. Fabian, check your sand at night, bro. I found a woman in my tank that was big enough to wrap around my tail. Oh my God, I would definitely do that. Uh, although I have been up a few nights, uh, I think two months ago, just to see if there's any pests for the Monda cap. But uh, so far, so good. Haven't seen anything too crazy yet. Knock on wood. Dave asks, have you tried a mirror in the trap? Dave, I have not. That's actually a good idea. What? Why is the cleaner shrimp in the trap? Huh? The shrimp oh. went into the trap. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh... See, but the thing is that the bicolor blenny, at least I don't see, I don't see it trying to attack his own reflection. But you know what? I think green chromis, if he, if he see another chromis, right, he may try to screw up. So actually, I think the mirror is actually a great idea. That's, that's smart. Yeah, we need CJ here to catch. He is like the undisputed champion of fish catching. Yeah, Oh, Rocky, try using that food. You stick to your glass, stick it in the trap. That's a great idea. That is the mastic, by the way. Let's see. The lone Aquarius asked, where did my bird go, man? Stinky flew away, beginning of the year is super sad. I was letting, uh, letting Mac, my dog, I'm in. I'm so happy with that. 
<laughs> yeah, she is terrified of bird. Yeah. So it may be a good thing that it flew away before she got here. Yeah, I'm the new bird. <laughs> oh, okay, she's the new bird. Uh, Fabian is trying to put the trap down low on the side. Uh, that's probably a good oh, idea too. I gave up. <laughs> okay, she gave up. Okay, so naked reefer, <laughs> naked reefer. I hope like no, you're not naked right now. So, Chromus hangs out a little bit higher up. Bicolorblend hang out a little bit lower. So right now it's kind of in between. That's kind of like my mentality. So, but I may have to do two set, I guess. Oh wait, you're close. Oh. You're close. Come on, do you want me to try to chase him from this side? No, no. You're good. Try, try to oh oh, ah, you almost got it. I know. Or if you could chase him into the trap, that would work too. Look at that little Patterson shrimp just trying to get some love. He, he's trying to run into the net. Okay, let's answer some question. Um, Logan asks, what do you do with your old equipment? Uh, light, usually I hang on to it uh, because I always seems to be setting new tank up like that one. Uh, but I do also give it to my friend if they need oh, a... It, oh, oh, oh! Almost. <laughs> Fabian asks, what's a coral name next to the pump? Next to the pump? Do you know about this one? If it's this one, this is a green finger ladder or green single ladder. But if you mean this one, it's a uh, Groups Gorgonian. Oh, you gave up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you gave up, that was short-lived. <laughs> After all, oh <laughs> man. I tried my best. Uh, okay, uh, the lone Aquarius asks, is the handout arc reading six points? That is for that tank, 6.1, uh, which is really low. I've been trying to bring it up. This tank is pretty solid around 9.3. I'm gonna try to bring it down a little bit to around nine. All right, let's try to wrap up. This has gone on longer than expected. Oh, here, here's a nice Christmas tree. She's really proud of that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, Dave reefing addiction. I remember when bird poop in the tank. Yeah, man, that's extra nutrient. <laughs> hey, do you have your phone here? Can we shine a light to the sump? I'll show them the other fish. So I'm going to show you guys where the other green chromas are. Just to prove that I did not feed them all to Mochi. But check out this belly. Oh, see me live too. I see. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so this is on a timer, so I don't have it on. This is the new uh, Zit Lights Refugium light that they'll be releasing soon. Uh, but if you want to, you may need to come down a little bit closer. So check out this macroalgae forest. I need to uh, start pulling a lot of these out before they go sexual. There should be where the chrome is. Oh, I think they're all sleeping. So there should be five green chromas in here. And the domino damsel, somewhere in here, Xiao Hei. Yeah, I think they're all, I think, I think they're all sleeping. Yeah, the, um, some, so somebody's coming to pick up the baby domino damsel. Yay, um, this finally! Sunday. Thanks, guys. And these guys, these uh, actually five green chromas down here already got spoken for. I just need to catch the remaining one to make them six to uh, give them all away at the same time. Hey, what's up, James? He's, he's watching here too. Yeah, so we're trying to find this guy, but I think they all tucked away for the. Oh, there he is. There he is. Dun dun dun. Where? Right there. See? Oh, yeah. Ty really, really cute. Really small guy. Yeah. But I got some uh, green chromas in here. All hiding. Yeah, all hiding. They were, dude, they were enjoying life. In the beginning, they were kind of being blown around a little bit, but yeah. somehow they found their footing, they got used to current, and then they've been doing really well. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one? Where? There, color. color. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they all went to sleep. Yep, we got it. Okay. Really cool. You lose? You're losing focus. Oh. oh, it's okay. We'll bring it back up. All right, guys. And I think that will do it for this live stream. Um, I just want to show you how the tank looks at this point because I realized that I have not been doing a lot of uh, tank updates. Just so much going on around the area that I've been trying to bring those to you guys versus just every day talk, talk about the tank. So I feel like I skip a lot each time I do tank update. And each time, each time I do tank update, I... I feel like I need to rush through it because there's so much things to cover. That's why I think like once in a while we'll hop onto live stream and just do something like this. Uh, 
Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, I'm asking my friends whether I should go live too. So it's hundred percent. Well, hundred percent of how many people? Like one vote, one person, sorry. one person wanted her to go live. I'm the only one vote. <laughs> yeah, but all right. So the light is actually shutting off now. So basically, I try to do. Um, I will try to do just tank updates with live stream more frequently uh, but of course i'll still put out a more produ better produced video once in a while but i just feel like there's a lot of gap in between the videos and when i do those video i just pick the main point to hit there are a lot of little nuances i did not get a chance to get into because so much cover and that's why i thought it'd be i want to like do some quick uh, live streaming with you guys all right with that said i guess that'll do it oh before i go before i go wait i just got a message from uh aficionado uh of reefs.com so he did a uh, tank profile on uh, this 45 gallon tank. Uh, basically, I sent some videos over sharing like what the equipment I use, like a little history about it, what's in this tank. And uh, the video just went live. The video just went live, I think like maybe half an hour ago on reefs.com. Uh, check out the YouTube channel, reefs.com. And um, leave a message, see, uh, see if you like it. It's, it's really different from the way I do things normally because it's a lot more formal. So I, I was pretty nervous. So check it out on Reefs.com's YouTube channel um, and leave him a comment. All right. I think that's pretty much it. And let's see. Uh, all right, CJ's Aquarium. If everyone want to come hang out after this, come over to the stream. Go check out that stream. Let's see. Okay, come over to Reef, Reef, Reef Radio. Okay, I'll definitely check it out as soon as I stop this. So everybody go, go to the link that CJ just posted. I guess the party goes on right there, huh? All right, well, I guess we'll be heading over to CJ's to check him out on his lazy chair. Do you want to say goodbye? Yeah, do you want to use your glass to make your ugly face? Again? No, man. Why, why, why don't you use the like, glass to make it? Like, 100 likes, he would do it. <laughs> no, 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 none of that. All right, guys. With that said, see you guys Sunday at 9.30. Actually, no, 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 no. Go over to CJ's face, and yeah. then I'll see you over there. See All right, that. party continues. Woo. Now, Wait. how do I stop? <laughs> okay, that's over. How do I stop?